The race on the ticket is for the state agency that was under fire for its role in the loss of power during the 2021 February freeze. Our Capitol correspondent Monica Madden introduces us to Sarah Stogner. She calls herself a unicorn Republican who's looking to unseat incumbent Railroad Commissioner Wayne Christian. The 2021 February freeze drew attention to regulations on natural gas, which Texas largely relies on for power. It's regulated by the state's Railroad Commission, which has nothing to do with railroads and everything to do with oil and gas. And the races for who sits on the RRC usually don't garner much attention. This year is an exception. I'm Sarah Stogner, and I've this oil and gas attorney went viral in February for a video featuring her semi nude riding a pump jack. Please vote early. It was really meant to be tongue in cheek and funny and to grab attention. She's in a runoff against incumbent Wayne Christian, chairman of the RRC. Bringing transparency so that those with the subject matter expertise have access to the information to help us fix these issues. We need to make sure that we're able to continue producing oil and natural gas in Texas and prevent federal intervention. Over the last month, we've reached out to Christian's campaign for an interview. While he did not say yes to that, he did send some recorded statements. I am the only candidate this race with a proven record of fighting back against the radical Biden administration and standing up for American energy independence. He is targeting her for taking a $2 million donation after an earlier campaign pledge to refuse contributions. Is the height of hypocrisy for Sarah Stogner to criticize me for taking a contribution from someone who recently had business before the Railroad Commission? Stogner says she struggled with taking the money after a friend offered it to her. I wanted to give it my all and do my best. I didn't want to wonder what if. If I had lost and not taken the money, then what good does that do? Monica Madden, KXAN News. Even if you miss the primary, you can still vote in the runoffs for one party ballot. The runoff date is coming up on Tuesday. There's a lot more about this race at our website, kxan.com.